In this video, we'll take a look at precipitation reactions. We'll see an example of a precipitation reaction. And most often with precipitation reactions, we're talking about a double displacement reaction. Two clear liquids are mixed together and they form a precipitate. That precipitate is a solid. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. So let's work through an example of a precipitation reaction. So first off, let's identify the pattern here. So we have a metal, silver, bonded to a group of nonmetals. This is a polyatomic ion. Over here, we have a metal bonded to a nonmetal. So the metal, nonmetals, metal, nonmetal. That usually means we're dealing with a double displacement reaction and we should have a precipitate forming. It's helpful if we write the charges, the ionic charges above each substance. So silver, that's always one plus. For the nitrate ion here, this is a polyatomic ion. So you either memorize it, or if you're allowed, you look it up. The whole nitrate ion is one minus. Sodium, that's in group one, that's one plus, and then chlorine, that's one minus. If you need help with identifying ionic charges, there's a link to a video in the description. So this is the same pattern again. We have positive, negative, positive, negative. Metal, nonmetals, metal, nonmetals. Double displacement reaction, also called a precipitation reaction. At this point, we can write the products. So the positive ions, the metals, they're going to switch places. We'll end up with AgCl and then sodium nitrate. At this point, we need to balance the charges here for the products. So we said silver is positive and the chloride ion, that's negative. So these add up to zero. That's okay. Sodium ion is positive. It said the whole nitrate is negative. So those charges, they're balanced as well. Now that we have the products, we need to check for solubility and write the states. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the nitrate ion, they're going to be soluble. So let's put an AQ after that. Compounds with group one elements like sodium, they're also very soluble. That's going to be aqueous as well. And since we have sodium nitrate over here, let's put an AQ after that. In general, chlorides are soluble here, except when they're bonded to things like silver, lead, or mercury. So this is actually going to be insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. So now we have the states. You could have also looked that up on a solubility table if you were allowed to do that. And what this means is when the silver nitrate and the sodium chloride, when they're put together, mixed together, a solid forms. That is the precipitate. This is an example of a precipitation reaction because we have a solid forming and that falls to the bottom of the test tube. The sodium nitrate here, it's aqueous, so it's still dissolved in the liquid. So this is our example of a precipitation reaction. Let's go back and look at the reaction one more time. So we mix that silver nitrate, AgNO3, in the test tube with the NaCl in the beaker. They're both aqueous. When they mix together that solid, that's the AgCl that's forming. That's our precipitate. And that AgCl, it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube after a while. It's an example of a precipitate. In the beaker, though, what's going to be left is that NaNO3. It's going to be sodium ions and nitrate ions just floating around. So they haven't changed. We call those spectator ions. This is Dr. B with an example of a precipitation reaction. Thanks for watching.